intelligent activity uh, than me, I think. <laughs> he gave me the architecture. Hi. <laughs> Those are cars. We are cars. <laughs> on the bridge. Now? Yeah, did you bring your friend the bridge? You? My water is your water. Vegetables. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're essentially handing them a script that that makes some a, a new sense of sense, but it doesn't totally make day-to-day -day mundane sense. And so they have to create a sense for themselves and a sense for the audience. They're trying to convey a story where there isn't necessarily a normal narrative. You've got a trap <laughs> in or on or near the ascent. Do you want to see me travel? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Imagine that every word in the English language is connected to every other word in some sort of way. Okay, so what my program does is it navigates these relationships and it says, legs, tables, diner. Now I want you to get fit. <laughs> Getting some physical activity. Don't you see I am exercising? Can't you see I am getting physical activity? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's a fun writing tool, right? Because you're essentially asking yourself to accept that you don't have control over your own work. I have created a structure that has a certain level of control over the piece, but then, you know, after a certain point, you know, like I'll press a button, walk away, 10 minutes later I'll come back, and my computer will have written something that is absolutely hilarious and fun, and, and I get to discover things about, you know, language, and I think, I think when it breaks also, when it's like grammatically, writes grammatically incorrect sentences, it asks me to like think about the way that, that language works, which I think is interesting. It says something about the way we communicate with each other. I wish you were autopsy. <laughs> <laughs> intelligent agent activity, or intelligent agent activity or than me, I think. It's quite to autopsy here. Return the cadaver. When I hand an actor a script, I want them to first read it normally because I think our brains are automatically grammatically correct like some of these sentences and you end up saying things that that make more sense than what's actually happening on the page. So first you really have to like sit with it and, and actually read it. But then but then you really can you really can make sense of some of these lines. And so you end up creating characters based off of these strange grammatically incorrect moments. Um, and, and and there's like these every line is like a small new discovery. <laughs> An expedient isn't everything. I oh I, I wish you were <laughs> Um, this is not replacing playwriting. That's not replacing writers. I think I just want to make theater that demands that the audience has to be there. Um, I think it's cool. It's cool when, as an audience member, you're sitting there and you're like, "It's happening in this way because because I'm here." Um, and I think there's something about that feeling that makes a piece of theater exciting. Of course. Horseradish? What's horseradish? <laughs> <laughs>